tree showing with light Sprinkled with the bright high, high star At the top of the tree so bright Can't you see Santa Claus with that reindeer And it's no so bright Cookies making in the oven smelling so good Yeah, faint the sugar cookie candles in the living room Smelling so burning What's up? What's up? Today's another another day. Today's another day. Oh my gosh, just got home from work and all sorts of great goodies. What is up, y'all? Real raw and uncut out there. Yeah, y'all. So I realized that Christmas is uh week, the weekend after next. Not this weekend, but the weekend after next and all that. Real raw and uncut. Let me know how y'all like my Miles uh Spider-Man shirt. This is my favorite shirt that I like to wear and all that. So let me see what I got. I think, oh, okay. My game has finally arrived right here from Red Art Games, Real Raw and Uncut. And I think these guys are based off in France. This is another Nintendo Switch game, but y'all give me a minute. We about to go into the man cave and uh, open it up because I got to have more lighting. I don't like the background with the yellowish color going on. So like I said, next year... I am about to change all the lightings in here and get that soft white brightness up in here, real raw and uncut. And um, I think today I'm gonna do some gift wrappings and stuff for uh, Miss Glam stuff and just get that out the way. So yes, and um, try to think of some Christmas activities we can do. I know that we got the gingerbread house. That would be something good to do. And then I have a uh, chamoying, chamoying challenge or something like that with a red pickle with some candy stuff that I want to bring to the vlogs and stuff like that because Glam has been bugging me to eat this damn red pickle. And I got to take some pictures and promote it for the person that sent it to me. And y'all make sure you guys check that out on Instagram. But what's up, y'all? Make sure you guys give your boy a lot of thumbs up on these vlogs videos because... Like I keep stressing out there, a lot of people has been watching the vlogs. They like my vlogs, so we're going to keep it going after Vlogmas. We're going to bring the vlogs every Wednesday or every Friday. So we're going to try to make, I'm going to try to make these vlogs about an hour, hour long. Real raw and uncut for you guys. And like I said, the more people that keeps on, you know, showing love and giving a lot of, you know, thumbs up on them and commenting and comment in the vlogs and basically share them. We gonna keep going. We gonna keep going. We gotta get those numbers up. Once we get those numbers up on these vlogs, about five hundred or more. Hey, we hey, hey hey we gonna take off with these vlogs and we gonna bring more to the table to you guys. But yeah. So anyways, I'm having a great great day. No stomach issues going on today. You know, it's a very blessing. Feeling good like that. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Woo! You guys is probably wondering what this big Ninja Turtles 2 limited edition NECA VHS right here. This is a big VHS. I'm telling you guys what big beast VHS I'm going to put this in. You Gen Z millennium motherfuckers out there don't know nothing about the VCR. And I wish I had a VCR. And you know what? Since they bring in the back... um. Vinyl records, they need to bring back VCRs and stuff like that. Oh, and by the way, let me adjust it before we get on with this video. I want to give a shout out to Miss K. Thank you, Miss K. I told you guys I was going to, I told you I was going to show it in the video. I finally opened the package yesterday. Yes, 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 yes. Here we go. I've been actually wanting a RBG light up keyboard and I've Hey, I, I am thankful. I am grateful that you have got me started, that you got my journey started into working my way into the PC world. I'm slowly building up and I want to try this on my Xbox. I got to get me a gaming keyboard so I can play Call of Duty with mouse and keyboard to really see what this aiming and stuff is all about. It's going to take me time to get the practice going and all that. But, hey, I love this thing. What is it? A uh, v a Vega a Vega Z12 RBG gaming keyboard. That's what's up. Yeah, and we already know it's brand new because it's not open, real raw and uncut. But you know your boy, like everybody already knows, is that my big ass is gonna do the unboxing um after Christmas, after after Christmas. Because I got a lot of stuff already lined up. So you guys be prepared for that. 
And keep on enjoying this vlog, Miss Vlogs, for your boy. Also, let's throw in some games that I picked up before I opened my other game that came in the mail this morning and stuff like that. We got that Fighting Herbs right there. They just announced a new character that they put up in here. Modus, they make some pretty, pretty cool games, but got this on sale. And I got the um, Inquisitor right here. Finally released on um, all the next-gen consoles. I already have the original on Xbox, but it doesn't come with all the DLCs. This comes with all the DLCs, so y'all go pick these up. These just released right there, real raw and uncut. And yeah, so I'm having a great, great time. I'm, I'm having a great morning. About to get my sleep on, wake up about 11.30, get my 30-minute workout. You know what I'm saying? Got to bring it back, real raw and uncut. And whoever wants to have a party with me, let's make some let's make some Starburst Jello, real raw and uncut. You guys already know. Yes, indeed, y'all. We about to go down. We about to go down. And um, let me see. Okay. Let's get with this. This comes from, I, I believe it came from, um, let me see, Red Art Games. It came from Paris, I believe. I didn't think it was going to get here, though. And like I said, they, they, they do have Switch games all around the world. They just don't have Switch games in the United States. You know what I'm saying? They got Switch games out here. I don't want to show my address because one of y'all crazy loony bats may come to my house real raw and uncut. But yeah, let's see how to get this box open. We're going to open it up like this. And this is my actually first ever red art game that I have ever reserved from them. Because I normally order from limited run games and super rare games. And this is called uh, Heidendelberg. 1693. Right here. Really, really cool game. You guys can look it up. It's called Heidens, Heidendelsberg. Real raw and uncut as you guys already know. Um, It's an action metro Vania, Castlevania type of light game, if you guys want to check it out. And they also have this like firefighting type of game that I want to reserve. They got two other games that I'm going to reserve. So I want to give a shout out to Red Art Games for coming through real raw and uncut. So um, I may do an unboxing of this, but like I said, y'all be so, so busy with these vlogs right now. And that's what I want to keep my mind and focus on real raw and uncut, you know, so. We're going to get with it. And I love you guys. Let's go. Let's go. Get these likes up. Get these numbers up. Get these shares going. Because I love you guys. I put my time and energy in it for you guys. And that's what we're going to keep doing. That's what we're going to keep doing. We're going to get straight reviews, a.k.a. Uh, Big Bear Bro, a.k.a. Big Bear the Bear, a.k.a. Fat Boy Gamer, back out here on the Tizza. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's up, y'all? 12 o'clock a.m., out here getting that walk on again like i said y'all it's been about uh about a whole month since i ain't been walking and i can tell that i haven't been walking because my endurance is not like it used to be because i'm out here huffing and puffing you know what i'm saying <laughs> got the scarf on like bob and carol out here got the christmas spirit uh, they call these things scarfs on. Glam keep telling me, make sure you wear your scarf and make sure you cover up your neck before you get a neck code. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, how's everybody out there doing today? Back on these workouts and stuff and trying to get back on track with, you know what I'm saying, trying to get my health right. And, uh, you know, somebody asked me in one of my vlogs, is that uh they asked me you know did i have high blood pressure and i told him i said yeah and i didn't know i had high blood pressure since i was a uh a teenager that's what the doctors was telling me i said oh wow so i told them um they was asking a question like what's the best way to control blood pressure and i noticed the way i can you know can control my blood pressure is take all the salt out of the damn house have salt sometimes and that's what gets us through our life is uh us eating a lot of salts and um drinking all that bullshit ass sodas and juices all through the years and um eating a lot of fried foods and chickens and hamburgers and stuff and i noticed that when i cut back on a lot of that 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 salt and shit and a lot of the candy and uh sodas and juices it helped me out a lot now i know you guys be seeing a lot of candies on my instagram page and all that 
but I'm not sitting there eating it like I used to. I eat like, you know, candy in moderations, like every other weekend, um, eat like a small bowl of chips here and there. And, you know, just so I could have it, like when I get, you know, want to have that taste in my mouth, my pants falling off and shit, trying to get this walk on. You guys got what I'm saying? But um, working out, sweating out the toxins out your body, working out, keeping your heart pumping, keeping your body circulated, um, helps my blood pressure. Cause I noticed when I started working out a lot, um, my blood pressure has been very, very cool on the steady. And I was surprised cause my doctor was happy about that shit too. He was like, well, what are you doing to keep your blood sugar, your blood pressure loss at man working out, dropping weight. Cause it's real out here with a lot of African-Americans. <clears throat> and I always tell myself y'all, a lot of y'all don't know that I was in the hospital two years ago for about a whole week. I never, I never told all of y'all that. I only told a select few that. And, um, you know, and the people I told, I appreciate y'all keeping that secret. And that's what made me want to lose weight and get, you know, stuff back on track because I'm telling y'all, one week I was going through some weird symptoms at work where... I couldn't really like breathe a little bit. It was like in spurts. And I was like, damn, what's going on? I, I was sitting in the chair just chilling. I said, something ain't right. Something is not right. So, you know, I brushed it off. Then I would go lay down. I kept hearing, every time I breathe, uh, I felt, I, I kept hearing these like weird snap crackling pops. You know, like if you put like a bowl of Rice Krispies in a bowl, you put your ear and you can hear all the little yeah, my voice kept sounding like that like in the back, then I thought it was like some bronchitis shit so I kept running back to the hospital I was like, man, you know, they told me it was bronchitis they looked in my lungs and shit, it was like, yeah, you got fluid on your lungs so I was like, okay so my bronchitis and shit that's what I'm thinking, kept, you know getting this cough and everything real raw and uncut then it went away then i had to there was times where i would get up and my energy would be so fatigued i'm like damn something wrong something ain't right went to work it was cool and every time i lay down on one of my sides i could not breathe so glam was like greg what's going on with you why you keep tossing and turning like that i said well when i turn this way i can't breathe when i turn this other way i'm fine i said something going on so um you know, I kept coughing and coughing. And, I, you know, Glam was like, you need to go get that cough checked out because you've been coughing for a month. I'm thinking it was like a lot of dust in the house. So I'm in the whole house dusting everything off, wiping everything down. Because the house, because the last place we, we worked at was just, you know, in the ghetto and it was like dusty and shit. You guys get what I'm talking about? So then I went to go get an air purifier. That helped a little bit. Then one night... Glam was making some food and I lay down because I had to work that night. Man, don't y'all know I felt this warm sensation in my middle of my chest when I laid down. I felt like it was moving. So I told Glam, I said, something ain't right. I got to go to the hospital. Then I was like, no, nah, they're going to keep me. She's like, no, nah, you need to go to the hospital. I was fine when I walked to the car from the house I and mean, when I walked out of the house of the car. But when I got to the hospital, I could not even walk in the hospital. I was literally about to fall the fuck over. So, um, they was like, man, your blood pressure is, my blood pressure was really, really high, like in the twos and the twos. And the nurse was like, dude, you all right? I was like, why? They was like, bro, your blood pressure's in the 200s and the 200s. What is going on? So, need to mind, I was overweight. And, um, it was messing with my heart, y'all. That's why I tell people, man, being big is not cool at all. So this what really, really, um, you know, told me like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm about to be 40 years old at the time. Well, I was already 40. I'm hit, hit 40. And it was telling me, Greg, you got to get up out here and drop this weight. 
you got to get up out here and push. You got to drop this weight. So that's what I did. And I dropped my weight down to 320 because my weight was going up to the 400s. That's why I tell people that I hear that are overweight, man. Stop playing around and, and, and work on, you know, dropping some weight. Start off with 30 minutes a day like I did and gradually work that up. Because that's what I did. And then keep a mindset in your head that you want to push through getting through your goals in life. Because that's what I did. And, you know, sometimes we're, we're human. We're going to slack. We're going to have some slacky days. But, hey, as long as you keep pushing and not giving up, you're going to be happy to see the results. You're going to keep looking in that damn mirror and you're going to be like, man, I'm not seeing nothing. I keep looking the same. But people are going to see it. And me, I was getting discouraged because I was looking in the mirror and I was like, man, fuck these mirrors. These mirrors make me look like goddamn Nutty Professor Part 6 in this bitch. <laughs> So I noticed when I lost weight, I started feeling better because when I had like almost 400 pound weight gain, I would like just move around just a little bit, start busting out of sweat. So I'm like, man, why am I sweating so easy for? And couldn't find out. That means it was your blood pressure going up. And plus, when you're bigger, your heart works, works, works and overworks. So like I said, we got a lot of body positive people out there. You know what I'm saying? Big as shit. You know, you got some beautiful people out there. You know, cute people. You know, big as shit. Um, you know, you know, I don't hate on people that got body, you know, projects or whatever going on. But when you look at people like that, in reality, that shit ain't cool. That shit ain't cool. Because you know you going through a situation where you can't really wipe your ass. And it's hard when you try to bend down and huffing and puffing. Because with me, I keep it real with y'all. When I was getting up there, I had trouble wiping my motherfucking ass. I was, I, I was literally huffing and puffing on the side of the wall, trying to catch my motherfucking huffs and puffs. Oh, I was like, oh, hell no. I got to change this shit. But a lot of my weight came from um, stress weight. You know, losing my mom, losing my uncle. Um, just a lot of stressful event situations where, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. And it's weird though. So I'm working on it and I have been working on it and you can't be having excuses out here when people saying, Oh, I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it because it's not going to change. If you don't get to it, if you don't change, it's just going to be, you're going to be at the same situation, you know, go on your journey and don't stop, keep going, you know, because you don't want to go on your journey and be lazy, lazy and just, you know, lose yourself and be going back to the starting line again. And with me, when I ain't worked out in a month, I said, okay, the five pounds, I gained five pounds. It ain't went away in about a whole month. What's going on? I need to get out here again, drop it back down and continue on with this journey. And I love you guys out there. So if you're fat and pudgy and you know you huffing and puffing and you know that you need to, and you can't put on your underwears and your drawers, get your ass up out there and do something real raw and uncut. And if I'm hurting your feelings, oh, the fuck well. Because I'm telling you What's the truth. y'all got done with that two mile walk? Um, that's what I do um, Sunday, Mondays and Tuesdays. I take a break for two days, do a little bit of a wait after my um, uh, break is over with you know when i'm on my breaking period I, I go back to exercising um for like little weights and then i switch it up and like i said get back on your walking uh for about 30 minutes and then like after a month just bump it up and keep on going keep on going and you start seeing results here and there we're all done cut but like i said y'all we slack up i slacked up so i'm back at it again on the weight loss journey um want to get back down to uh you know see my weight loss goal which is 250 is which i'm trying to hit um been in the plateau though but we all hit the plateaus and stuff but it is what it is y'all you guys already know your boy is back out of these trenches back out in these streets y'all you know how it goes down y'all keeping it gangster keeping it real oh yeah 
It's cold as hell out there, y'all. And now my ass is hungry. <laughs> About to eat a little something and then have my big dinner around 3.30. Let it digest out my bizelli. Take my ass to sleep. Back at work at it again. One more night to go. And a brother is off again. And I'm about to go play me some Battlefield 2042. Uh, I'm tired of playing Call of Duty. Got to switch it up too and get back to Call of Duty later on. But hey, got some other games I need to catch up on. Love y'all out. But it's a feeling good day when you can just chill and just relax throughout your day. Because my days be going by fast. I work overnight. I get off at 7. Then I got to be back at fucking 9 o'clock. So it's like when I get up at 12, I'm only up for about four hours and I'm back to sleep. I'm like, God damn. But the only the only surprise about it, the only good, good surprise I get out of it is, hey, I get off three days. You know what I'm saying? And my weekends are permanent. You don't, Hey, that's the bread and butter when you get a job, when you got the permanent weekends off. You know what I'm saying? Real raw, no, cause that's a job you don't never, ever want to give up. You give up that shit. You need your ass kicked. Ain't that right, y'all? <laughs> I would show y'all what I'm watching, but last time that I, you know, showed you the guys that I'm watching, I was watching Bullet Train and YouTube gave me a little. Your videos got a copyright and we can't monetize it. So I had to redo my video and take that shit. I was like, God damn! I thought it was only music in this bitch they was doing. YouTube be trying to just take everybody's shit. Like, God damn! We ain't trying to make money off people's shit. We trying to make our own content and keep it going, real raw and uncut. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so, man, they try to make it hard out here for a brother, y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's hard out here for a brother. Yeah, so. But, but, y'all, we back here again. Like I said, y'all, it is another ending of my night. Y'all um, keep on watching. You know what I'm saying? I keep bringing the vlogs to you guys. Y'all have a great, great day. You know what I'm saying? And if the haters want to talk shit, they can take some of these goddamn knuckles in their face. Oh, yeah. Ah. It is Christmas Eve